Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here to do your November 2019 general tarot and oracle forecast. So this is for the month of November 2019. This is a general reading for Taurus sun, Taurus moon, and Taurus rising signs. All right, so we're gonna be doing an action plan spread. Let's get ourselves ready for the new year that is imminent. It's just about eight or so weeks away, which is pretty incredible. So let's get prepared for the upcoming winter solstice and of course new year plans. Let's get out of the old and into the new. So an action plan for Taurus, sun, moon, rising. What does Taurus need to know for November 2019? Messages for Taurus, sun, Taurus, moon, and Taurus rising signs for November 2019. Taurus. All right, so this could be a message for some of you or all of you or just one of you today. Uh, and of course, it's cool to see if it comes in the spread itself. So we're looking at the lover's card. Um, this is a really potent card that asks for a big decision to be made. Your heart may be pulling you in a different direction than your mind or even your current circumstances. Maybe your heart and soul isn't just in something anymore and you have to make a decision. Um, you could be protected and guided at this time as well. And it doesn't have to be a love affair. It can be a, a, a big decision of any sort, really. But again, we'll see if it shows up in your reading. All right, messages for Taurus, sun, moon, and rising. <laughs> oh, they're excited to come out. Messages for Taurus. All right, folks, let's get into it. As you know, I am pretty obsessed with looking at the bottom of the deck as well. I will use that as general energy for the month for you. Um, and of course, we'll apply that energy to you. all of the other cards here. Let's get them out so you can see what's up. So first of all, I just want to suggest that we have some really gorgeous energy here. I think that there could be something that's letting you down. You either need to say something, you need something said, you need to examine something here. There could be a little bit of pessimism, um, either due to the fact that you're either not as I said, sharing information or allowing for information to be shared at this time. You could feel a little bit misunderstood. There could even be arguments or disagreements um, in terms of bottom of the deck energy. I'm Like I said, this is really going to influence the rest of the cards and it's going to it's kind of what's going on, you know, energetically behind the scenes for you. So I see that you have a lot of love around you. You might even have a lot of options here. You may need to say goodbye to something here. We did see the lovers jump out. A big decision uh, could be imminent for you. Let's see why we would be saying such things. So this is your starting point and you have a gorgeous starting point and it could be part and parcel of why you could be reluctant to make a decision, for example, particularly if it's around the home or family or, you know, some structural integrity here, because it would be really hard to say goodbye to this right now. This is a really, really cozy place, right? Whether you live out of a car or a castle, this is a really cozy, um, homey, uh, safe kind of place for you. So this is your starting point in terms of your action plans, you're starting out really solid here, but your strength is that you have options. What does your heart really want? What is your heart really resting on? What is it that you really want to follow here? Um, particularly when we have these two together, you know, we have the Knight of Swords here. Again, this is like a really rushing energy. It could be argumentative, for example. Maybe you just need to create or allow some options here. Maybe you need to talk to several different people in order to get something off your chest or to gain perspective. Could be another way um, to move forward here as well. But you do have options. If this is a love reading for you, I'm going to suggest, Taurus, that you have options in love and you need to communicate this or allow someone to communicate it to you. So this is where you will face um, the challenge 
to create the change you seek, okay? And this is in complete, I mean, this is diametrically opposing what exists. So either the home life or the stability here needs to be undone or something needs to be let go of within something that's already stable. We do have the death card here. This is also, I want to address the death card versus the tower. The death card is different from the tower in the largest sense in that you know this is coming. With the tower, the tower just says, here you go, time to change. The death card is, I got to do this. I've been putting it off. So I think you might know really clearly here what the change is um, behind the challenge, right? If you face making this decision, if you face the death of something here, either the death of options or the death of this um, stability somehow. I think it has to sort of look at one of these at least, right? Um, and it could be, as we saw with the lovers, it could be what by all appearances looks like a difficult decision, but it really isn't because you know what's going on. You already know this, okay, Taurus? You already know something needs to be let go of here. Here's where you can find the help. This is an area of study, activity, or action. And this is sentimentality, right? This is nostalgia. And this is where you can find some help. Basically, we're looking at how you feel this month. What feels good? What were the good times? What made you feel alive? What made you feel appreciated? What gave you a sense of coziness? Maybe it isn't where you are right now. <clears throat> where was the last time you experienced that? You know, where was that? What did it look like? What did it feel like? And I think you could be longing for that uh, at this time. I do want to recommend as well that this could have something strictly to do if this is not a relationship reading for you, I'm only turning it upside down for you to see the reflection of the little girl here. This could be something that is deep within your heart that you have to come to terms with, okay? Taurus, this is something that, you know, this is memories, right? These are fond memories, technically. But it's also something that's deep within you, something that you've longed for since you were even perhaps a child or for as long as you can remember here. But in terms of what can help you, if, if you really go back there, you can find something there that will help you, perhaps even a very important truth at this time, okay, right? Because we need to tell the truth. We need to be honest about something here. And remember, all of this water, this is all of our feelings, and it's under this sort of sharp, you know, this. it's a very, there's a severity here, okay? Uh, this, the court cards for the swords are pretty severe, right? But they're also accurate, so, you know, you can, you can crap on them for being blunt, but you got to praise them for being honest, right? So, you know, you got to be blunt and honest about what's going on here in your own heart or the past or what gave you feelings of, you know, what, it, what are you nostalgic, nostalgic about? And, you know, why would that be? Why would you be pulling yourself back there? Because, um, this can help you, right? Here with the outcome, this is the goal or outcome. This is, a message of love. I think you either need to give this to yourself or remind yourself that you're loved or remind yourself that love really is possible for you at this time. The pages really are um, about messages versus action, right? So it could be that you either need to share a message of love here or you need to decide like what is more important. Remember the messenger is a little bit more older, it's a little bit more... Um, uh, not established, experienced. Kings and queens are more established. But the mess, the knight here, a little bit more experienced than the page. This is, you know, uh, a new message, something that's young, maybe even something that's a little bit new. Um, not new in the sense of the ace of cups where it's like an aha moment or, um, like there's a purity behind it that, you know, guides you. This is a, this could very well be about someone else, right? Either you need to share this message of love or romance with someone else or they need to share it with you. I really think that having a conversation at this time, really, really in your own mind, figure something, figuring something out within your own mind at this time. I don't see you having a great deal of conversation with anyone else, even this, even if this does include or um, have to deal with someone else. 
and and very likely it does. We do have the, we're starting out with the four of wands here. This is our happy home. Um, but it could be, you know, where do you feel most settled, right? As I said, you could live in a camper van by yourself with, you know, or you know, um, you could be on the road uh with a knapsack. Who cares? Like wherever you feel most home, right, is um where you're starting out. So I think that you'll always have the stability here. So try not to be too paranoid or upset about moving away from a sense of stability because this already exists no matter what the next move is. But I do want to make mention here that there is a lot of love and hope and longing, perhaps even romantic messages, perhaps even messages of love and sweetness. There could be some sort of, um, uh, I want to mention here as well with the Page of Cups that there could be um, kind of like a private message. There could be like a private, um, what's it called, like an inside joke. Uh, there could be something like that that you either can't access at this time or you're finding difficult to communicate with someone else at this time. So you really have to help transform the situation by setting yourself free, guys. And like I said, the universe isn't currently willing to do it for you. They're giving you an opportunity to do it for yourself. So um, you can do this. And remember that the death card, something really does have to take its place, okay? And this is the other thing. It, or maybe that's how you feel about this at this time. The challenge, right? By facing this, you create the change you seek. So it could be that you recognize the change needs to be made, but you also recognize full well that when you make this change, because you see it coming, there's going to be a void, right? And that could be like, well, now I have to start over. That could be part of it as well, but that's just fear, Taurus. Don't let fear... Um, don't let fear decide your fate, okay? There's a lot of cards there. I'm just not going to take all four of those. Let's just get one jumper. You know, do what is calling you, I would say, home. Wow, you got the raven. Okay, so you do have magic. <laughs> Um, these are not light cards anyway. I find the medicine card deck. I've had these for over 30 years. These are incredibly potent <laughs> despite all the other decks I have. I just, there's just, anyway, uh, the Raven, there is magic behind all of this. There is something deeper and larger and more potent at work for you. I do want to recommend that these are closely intertwined here. I think the magic is in letting go. The magic will be found in saying goodbye. I do want to make mention as well that Scorpio rules the death card. Scorpio is eighth house energy. It is opposite to your sign. So there's could be a matter. It, we don't have pentacles here. So I don't see right now in November, Taurus, that this is a practical matter for you necessarily. I do see that this is a virtually, uh, totally emotional matter for you. But here with the world of magic, this is where magic works. Magic only works in the world of the emotions, right? And our thoughts, right? Influence our emotions 100%. And that's just the way it is. It doesn't matter who you were, where in the world you are, what era. That's just the way it is. That's the nature of things. So... You know, your emotions aren't going to, it's not going to go this way. It doesn't, it's not like a counterclockwise. Fix, by fixing the way you think about something will impact the way you feel about it. And it will really, really help to get out of your own way by recognizing that something deeper and bigger is really going on here. And maybe having, there could even be a level of reverence that's needed for this as well. It may seem like a challenge that you didn't ask for, but you knew it was imminent. And like I said, I, I, you want to take hold of this. You want to get a handle on this before, it, before we start seeing the tower, for example, right? Before we start seeing something taken from you that you are underprepared for. So really thoughts and emotions this month is a big, big deal for you. Creating, conducting, or recognizing magic is very important for you as well. And magic is just alchemy, right? It's just um, taking ownership of your thoughts to create your reality. Here with Observer, I think this would really help you as well. I'm going to relate this with the Seven of Cups just because the Seven of Cups is able to look at what is available to them. It's able to assess. The sevens are all about revision, editing, uh, reinvention, 
right? So we have to observe what it is that we're feeling and thinking in order to get out of our own way, in order to make those big action plans for ourselves, so that we can move into the next chapter of our lives. I did recommend to Aries just before your reading, Taurus, to perhaps create a vision board. I'm just probably going to suggest that to all signs this month. Could be incredibly potent for you, specifically now seeing both the Death and the Raven card for you. Ooh, just to back up a tiny bit, Eighth House um, is ruled by Scorpio. This is shared finances. This is sex, death, and regeneration. It's also the most... Um, secretive and deep. There's a deepness in the eighth house or Scorpio energy as well. So there could be something really, really under the surface here that's just like bubbling and brewing <laughs> and um, kind of dying to be let out. Pardon the pun. So big, big shifts for you. They turned around. Let's take them both. We have express your love and keep an open mind. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture 100% in relation to our page of cups here. You really do have to do that for yourself. If this isn't a romantic reading for you, this could be purely creativity, right? I think you just have to make a bold move here. Um, I think it could be a matter, especially if you're overthinking something or living in your head about how you feel, for example, Taurus, this could be a matter of you as well just making a move into the future even if it doesn't work out just taking you know a nice calculated loving risk so keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations this is actually pretty exciting maybe this is what you're kind of caught in your head about believe it or not Taurus maybe you're just kind of insecure about moving forward um you don't know what to do with it maybe you're even a little bit surprised at how you feel um about these thoughts and opinions, or maybe um, you feel stuck in these thoughts and opinions despite feeling very positively about them. So it could just be all around this self-imposition, right? This like, well, I, uh, so that's going to sound like I can't, right? That's all, that's all it sounds like. And we have two from that deck. Um, so just, just beware of what you're, what you're, internal dialogue is um, during this time. So we have harmony and miracles. This is actually really, really stunning. I'm so happy to see this for you. Harmony is really nice. It's like the justice or a balance card, but this can also be very, very healing energy through music. And then of course, miracles. Miracles is so stunning. I don't know if you can see it in her hand, but she has like a little light from heaven here sort of landing on her fingertip here. And this is just pure life. This is pure energy. So, and again, with our uh, death card here and then the magic. Harmony also could be, you know, like a nice balance between what you're thinking and what you're feeling as well. So I think that you have the power to create miracles this month, Taurus. It's just a matter of getting... um coming to terms with what it is that you're really thinking and how it's influencing how what you feel and being able to make this big, big shift uh, in perhaps the way you live um, or what you love. So Taurus, that is your reading for November. I hope that you enjoyed that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Radical Angel, uh, for your daily readings. Thanks for subscribing and liking, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.